On today's show, we're going to be discussing connecting themes and enduring understandings. Under the umbrella of social studies, we're going to be discussing eight connecting themes in addition to their associated enduring understandings that will provide a learner meaning and structure to the social studies content that they will be learning. As a teacher, I just love social studies. Histories, mysteries, if you will. I love unwrapping them as if they're Christmas presents and finding new information and applying them to other things that I may not know. This life offers us few guarantees, birth, death, taxes, but I'm gonna provide you with a fourth guarantee. That social studies can be comprehensive. What am I talking about? Social studies provides us with dates, facts, figures, numbers that we all need to remember. But what are you gonna do with all that information? Apply it to other new disciplines. Social studies in its entirety is propped up by four pillars. Those are history, geography, government, and economics. Within those four pillars, throughout an entire year in social studies, you will find many connecting themes and enduring understandings. Connecting themes and enduring understandings are found within the four pillars of social studies. Those are beliefs and ideals, conflict and change, distribution of power, individuals, groups, and institutions, location, movement and migration, production, distribution, and consumption, technological innovation. Beliefs and ideals are a connecting theme that you will find throughout the context of social studies in a year. The beliefs and ideals of a society influence the social, political, and economic decisions of that particular society. The presidency of Thomas Jefferson is a great example of this. Why? Because when Thomas Jefferson purchased the Louisiana Territory from France, the social, political, and economic decisions were based on manifest destiny. Americans' belief that the United States should stretch from the Atlantic Ocean to the Pacific Ocean. Another connecting theme that you'll find is conflict and change. Sometimes there is conflict between and within societies, and the result is always change. Conflict and change are clearly evident in American history. The deadliest conflict in American history is the American Civil War. In the American Civil War, the United States of America separated into two independent countries over the issues of slavery and states' rights. Change is the result of conflict. Another connecting theme is the distribution of power. The distribution of power in a government is a product of existing documents and laws combined with contemporary values and beliefs. For example, in the country of Iran, the government is ran as a theocracy, as it holds strict principles based on the religion of Iran. Another connecting theme that you'll find in social studies includes individuals, groups, and institutions. Hmm. The actions of individuals, groups, and or institutions, they affect or change society through intended and or unintended consequences. An example of this connecting theme includes manifest destiny. Remember when we were talking about the United States and Thomas Jefferson and expanding from the east to the west? Yeah. The name of this portrait is called American Progress, and it's a symbol of manifest destiny. But what you don't see are the Native Americans being pushed west. That's an unintended consequence. The next connecting theme that we're going to talk about is called location. We're going to learn that a society's location affects that society's economy, culture, and development. The strategic location of the city of Boston within the state of Massachusetts directly influences the society's economy, culture, and development with its fishing and trading industries. Not to mention, the location of Boston within the state of Massachusetts made for great tea parties. The next connecting theme that we're going to discuss is movement and migration. The movement or migration of people and ideas affects all societies involved. Take another look at Manifest Destiny. Native Americans were not given the choice whether or not they had to relocate. They were forced to. We're now going to discuss the theme of production, distribution, and consumption. Production, distribution, and consumption of goods and services produced by a society are affected by the location, customs, beliefs, and laws of the society. No taxation without representation. That was a slogan that was slung across the Atlantic Ocean, directed at King George III and the British Parliament in response to what the Bostonians, and specifically the Sons of Liberty, deemed unfair taxation on the good of tea and how it was distributed and supplied by the British. Lastly, we're going to discuss the connecting theme of technology innovation. 
Technological innovations have consequences both intended and unintended for a society. If you need proof, take a look at Eli Whitney's invention of the cotton gin. The invention of the cotton gin increased the southern plantation owner's need for slave labor. Not good. So let's summarize our learning. Connecting themes are patterns that we observe throughout the units that we're going to learn about in social studies. There's many enduring understandings or lessons that American history provides us so that the institution of slavery never happens again. That the relocation of Native Americans is not patriotic. It's wrong. Be a student of the game. Thanks so much for watching. Feel free to check out our Teachers Pay Teachers store. Follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, and check out our Pinterest page. Hop on over to our YouTube channel where you can check out many exciting videos like the one that you've just seen. And check out our blog at www.bowtieguyandwife.com. Until next time.